Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central, and this morning I want to give you a quick look at BitBop, which can be described as a mobile version of Hulu, although I'm sure they wouldn't want to be called that, but that's kind of what it is. We'll launch it right here. It's technically a beta app, meaning it's uh, version 0.9, so there probably are some little bugs and glitches here and there. It's free for 60 days, so they're giving you a really long trial. After that, though, it'll be $9.99 a month which is a little expensive for streaming TV just to your phone. On the other hand, it's commercial free. You can download the episodes to your device or you can stream over 3G or Wi-Fi. So this is the menu. It's actually laid out very nicely. Unlike the uh, Daily Show app, this one is actually pretty polished. So you have uh, TV shows, movie networks, studios, genres, new. I mean, all sorts of ways of finding things. Yes, there are movies. You can pay for them, though. They're not part of the package. We'll return to that. Uh, you have popular over here. You can scroll through. These are some of the latest shows. Let's see. It looks like it doesn't. It only shows you a certain mouse. So it doesn't keep scrolling. Uh, over here is a queue. Uh, I added this basically. I did this myself. So I like to watch a daily show. So it added one of the latest ones to it. Although it looks like it's a day behind. And that's basically that. Uh, let's go to TV shows. Now this is what's really nice here. I love the menu system. Of course, you'll be familiar with this. This is the same one that's available in the contacts. It's one of the first apps I've seen take advantage of it, and it's so great. In fact, we're all hoping that Microsoft you know, puts us back in for programs. It'll be much easier to manage our programs that way. But anyways, you can search through all the programs that are available. They actually have a really nice selection. It's not perfect. In fact, they show Family Guy, but when I check, I don't see Family Guy here. Uh, so it's a little bit misleading advertising. I'm not sure why that is. They do have American Dad and a couple of the other shows. Here's Daily Show, uh, CSI Miami, uh, regular CSI. Let's see. Let click that. It brings down the episodes, and the episodes are a little misordered sometimes. So that's season one, or was it, sorry, season zero, episode 11. So I don't know, it looks like they don't have many episodes. This is what's kind of weird about it, it's a little hit and miss on some things. Let's see on here, bring down movies, and it doesn't look like it's bringing down movies. There's networks. Only South Park Highlights, Colbert Report, Daily Show, and Tosh 2.0 Highlights. Let's just go to Daily Show. Now I'll actually show you the quality of it, which is actually pretty high. Now it'll be over Wi-Fi right now, so it's a little higher than normal. Of course, you can see it's still a little slow. It's not unlike the Netflix app sometimes. You know what? Forget about that. Let's back out. Oh, of course. They just started downloading it. We'll watch my queue. The queue is kind of neat. You can always follow shows. Uh, here are your options. Now, watch now, download for later, or cancel. We'll do watch now. The download later, obviously, is very great. If you're going to want to take this on the road with you, you're not going to have a Wi-Fi or... Uh, 3G connection. Not the fastest to load. There we go. So looks like it's still buffering. It's getting better as it builds up. So overall, fairly decent quality. Uh, I I would consider this not the highest, but you know, for streaming, definitely acceptable. 
and probably even better than acceptable. Uh, so there you go. I mean, that's pretty much it. You can also, let's see, we've got new here. So it's not too many options. It's kind of what you expect it to be. What's really nice is the show selection is good, and the ability to either stream or download is really nice. Uh, I guess here are all the latest things you can see. More videos coming soon. <laughs> okay. Like I said, it's still technically beta, but you get a free 60-day trial. There's nothing to do. You sign up for it, but you don't give any credit card information. And that's basically about it. So give it a shot. Why not? And of course, I do have to say it's only available in the United States. So sorry, the rest of the world. Maybe someday um, you guys can get this too. So there you go. Take care, everybody.